Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the DCI number 3104SA. This is a cast iron kick down door holder, is what it is, and a spray to finish. Let's dissect the part number. 31, well, 310, 310, 310 means it's a kick down door holder uh, with the four screw mount design. That means that it is the four inch size, which is, which is a reference from the the the, uh, the pivoting axis down to the bottom of the arm, the SA means sprayed aluminum. This is also available for Kron's finish as well, and that is the BRZ in lieu of the SA part number. Now, there is a link below this video to a document called Cut Sheet, and that is handy in the sense that it will show you a reference to the other part number, the 310. Five, which is the same item, just with a longer arm. And a longer arm would be appropriate for perhaps a little greater than a standard undercut. If you were dealing with more than just a typical undercut, you might want the longer length of the five inch. Okay. Now, uh, you're gonna use this on doors where you simply need to have it held open. You'll have, let's say, an exterior door on a restaurant, and you wanna open that door up to allow the delivery man to bring what is going to be delivered. You're going to kick this item down and just hold the door open. You know, the back of a, you know, uh, anything. You know, we're going to have to have temporary, you know, control over the door being held open. This is a great item for that. Now, people like the DCI 3104 and 3105 because uh, it's inexpensive. Okay, it's, it, 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 you know, compared to what you get, it's inexpensive. And it's quite heavy, and people associate the weight of the item with the quality of the item. And I certainly have no reason to say that it's not of good quality, because it is. Uh, the horn or elbow that you see here, when it is raised, will flex that spring on the back, and it locks in with actually a very significant amount of force. And that tells me that over the longevity of the installation, that it will last hopefully longer rather than a shorter amount of time. Because initially, I can tell that that spring is a little bit stronger, uh, you know, and, and therefore, by extension, hopefully a little bit, you know, uh, more capable of handling a higher volume of use. Another thing that's nice that people like about the DCI item is that the tip is replaceable. Okay, this is their DCI. RS. If you were to search the site for just the RS, DCI space RS, you'll find this rubber stu uh, replacement rubber bumper. And it's a consumable item. It's intended to be replaced. Um, they will wear out. They do fatigue with time and use. Uh, so having a replacement uh, for this is very typical and common. You can significantly increase the longevity of that replacement tip with proper installation. And what I mean by that is you're going to want to make sure that when the holder is doing the job of holding the door open, that the face of the stop is parallel with the face of the, of the floor that it's holding against. If you're getting it to where it's tipped like this or like this, it's going to prematurely wear all that away and pretty quick as well, especially if it's a concrete floor and a lot of use. So you're going to want to watch for a good, clean, proper installation. Screws are included in a complementary finish. Now let's go over the important dimensional properties. Per that cut sheet, they give you some of it, and you know pretty much all the important stuff. But the width of the base, inch and a half. The height of the base, two and an eighth. Now we're going to study that four inch dimension. And that, of course, again, is a reference to the pin center line down to the bottom of the arm. Might be a little bit shy on that, but we're very close to it. Okay. And then, of course, the uh, thing to be careful of is keep in mind that this may conflict with some other hardware. You might have to install this over a kick plate if you're adding one. Uh, certainly not permissible on a fire-rated door at all. Cannot be used. Not that, you know, we're not the code police, but code is quite clear that a manual holder like this is not permissible on a fire rated door. So keep that in mind. You don't want to violate the fire rating of the door. But otherwise, it's a good quality item that we sell routinely, and clients 
Uh, I've sold this same item to clients uh, time and time again. They rely on the good quality nature of the product and the reasonable price and the availability of replacement tips. And of course, DCI, standing behind that name is a team of people that are excellent when it comes to customer service and just shipping lead times and technical support for that matter. They are really genuinely interested to bend over backwards for the client. That means and matters um, a lot, actually. There is finally uh, a link below this video to the manufacturer's page, and that is handy because you can pull up from there the manufacturer's full line catalog and review all of the DCI items that they sell. They have a lot more than just trim and auxiliary hardware, but if you're looking for door stops and you're looking for uh, ancillary items, uh, roller latches, they're a good option, but it's their Panex series of exit devices that is associated most with that name. If you have any questions on the DCI 3104 in an SA finish, kick down door holder 4 inch sprayed aluminum, or any other DCI product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.